Hey everybody, this is Ken Jobst with a closer look, and we're taking a closer look this week at Pastor's Midweek Message, which is entitled, The Danger of Underestimating Toto. Where the, uh, the series that Pastor is doing for the Midweek Messages is entitled, How to Win When You Don't Fit In, and it's based upon characters from The Wizard of Oz. And today, we're going to be taking a look at Toto. The, the scripture that kind of connects us, that sets us up for this discussion, comes from Acts chapter 23, verses 11 through 24, where there is a, a little-known character in the Bible who makes um, a big, big difference. You know the Apostle Paul, who wrote so much of the New Testament? Well, the Apostle Paul was hiding out, and it, it, uh, hiding out? No, he, he was in custody, and as it turns out, Paul's sister's son, so the Apostle Paul's nephew, was hanging out and heard some folk discussing their plot to assassinate the Apostle Paul. So, you know what? I didn't know the Apostle Paul had a sister. I didn't know the sister had a son. So the Apostle Paul's nephew tips off the authorities that there's somebody plotting to assassinate the Apostle Paul. So the long and short of it is the Apostle Paul's life gets saved because of this minor character in the Bible story who, uh, you, you know what, he, he's only in this one particular scene and he only does one thing, right? He hears about the plot and he tells the authorities and it saves the Apostle Paul's life. So we have you know, all of the writings, Romans, First and Second Corinthians, we have all the writings the Apostle Paul did because his son tipped off the authorities about the plot to assassinate him. It reminds us of Toto. In the movie The Wizard of Oz, Toto is like, you know what? Toto is there with Dorothy through the whole thing, but Toto doesn't really seem to do anything for the longest time. I'll tell you what. Toto is there when the scarecrow and the tin man and the, the lion, Toto's there when they all get blessed, but Toto doesn't complain about it. Toto doesn't whine and whimper that he's not getting blessed too. As a matter of fact, the movie is almost completely over by the time Toto does something. But the thing that Toto does changes everything. What does Toto do? Toto pulls back the curtain and exposes the wizard as the wimp that he really is. That's because Toto had something nobody else had. Toto had a really good nose and could smell that behind that curtain over there, there was somebody there, and so he pulls back the curtain to reveal there is the wizard. Well, I'll tell you what. Sometimes we feel like Toto. And sometimes, you know what? We may be late bloomers. Maybe we're not getting all the attention early in the movie. Maybe God's got something in store for us later on in the story where we're going to shine and we're going to be the hero. Remember, God takes the world's zeros and makes them into God's heroes. So whenever you feel a little Toto-ish, understand the movie's not over yet and understand that God's still got plenty for each and every one of us. Hey, with a closer look, this is Ken Jobst. God bless you. Stay well, to, stay well, right? Stay well till I see you again. God bless. Take care.